Uh, hello guys, uh, this is Zach. Uh, this is my first video I've yet so far made. Uh, it's a game review uh, on a game between me, uh, Zep, and Axam. This game was played about a month ago. Uh, Axam is a Lodan player. Uh, Don, sorry. Uh, as you can see, my right says uh, 8Q, but that really wasn't correct back then. Uh, I had played so many games that even if I won like 20 games in a row, my rank would like never go up. So uh, what I ended up doing was just taking off a rank altogether. So uh, that's why I was able to beat Axam in this game. Uh, it was played uh, in the ASR League on KGS. Uh, if you don't know what that is, just go to the ASR League rooms on KGS. Uh, and it was kind of a special game for me because uh, Axam had so far been undefeated in the league, he had like 22 wins and I was able to end that so it's pretty cool. I had played him earlier before also and I lost by resignation. Uh, this game I won by time although he should have resigned. So uh, this is the game. Uh, oh by the way I'm about 2Q. Uh, so this is a pretty normal opening. Uh, another response for white could be this. And this way, uh, white gets, I mean, black gets a big moyo on the top side and stuff. And then white tries to reduce it to look something like this. And I personally didn't like this because, for one thing, I don't like uh, like invading too early at places like R6 because I like moyos more than territory. So, uh, kind of like my style. So, in this case, I would like black. I wouldn't like white as much. So, I didn't want to play this way. So what I did was this, and I was hoping he would try for something like this. This is another one. Uh, in this case, you don't want to do this first. Uh, first you want to play here, and then do this. Because of the stone at Q3, uh, your stones at K3 will be more in danger. So with a move at H4, you can leave a cut open at G5 and cut the F3 stone off. So this is all normal. Uh, if black wants a huge wall, he can do this. But I personally don't like this because um, once he does this, uh, my group at N3 is completely safe. Uh, there is no way black can kill it. So now I can just Tanuki and play a splitting move or something. And now this huge wall that black made isn't really serving too much of a purpose because now it can't really create a moyo very much. Uh, sure, it can be used to attack, but now white can just run towards it or something, and uh, it's really not doing as much as it could have been doing, or as much as you'd want it to do. So, uh, excuse me also if my voice is a little bit weird or something, I'm a little bit sick right now. So, he didn't do this though in the game. Uh, what he did was do another opening move which was this one. I was a little bit unfamiliar with this move and uh, I actually played the correct move to this. The correct move is this one which I played uh, because uh, as most of you know uh, when black makes a move in closing corner move like this black wants to move here himself and start creating a moyo in here somewhere. So um, I didn't want him to do that so by doing this I also reinforce my H3 stone and so the F3 stone is feeling a little more like lonely now and uh, also if black jumps into the corner which he did in the game uh, I have Sente now because usually when there's a stone around the Q3 area uh, white would have to make the L3 move anyways to reinforce his group at E2 Otherwise, that F3 stone can be pretty annoying. So, with the L3 stone, it not only gets rid of uh, a little bit of what Black was trying to do with the Moyo with R5, um, it also reinforces this group right here. So, I guess I was a little bit lucky to have made the correct move. Uh, okay, so let's say if White doesn't have this move, let's say white just plays somewhere else for some reason then if black jumps into the corner 
goes like this. And then watch your top. And then uh, let's say white tanukis again. Then uh, the correct move by black here, well, he could play this move first, I guess. And then make this move. But uh, right here, black can just play right here. Or, I'm sorry. Right here. And then uh, black right here can't afford to lose his stone at f3. Because if he does, then uh, his group will really be in danger. So he has to make some type of move like jump out. It's also important to note that uh, there's no way for black to connect under. Because white has this. And then let's say I try to connect. Then he's gonna have to play try to play the ko. And if he had enough ko threats, this would be fine. But at this point, uh, black has no ko threats on the board, and white has a lot of ko threats around the c5 area to try to kill that group right there. So in this case, this wouldn't work for black. Maybe later in the game if he had enough ko threats. So like this move, let's say it was 50 moves later and he had a lot more ko threats, then he could play that and try to connect his stones. So, right here, black can play this. And as you can see, now with this R5 uh, move, this is all coordinating really nice together to create a moyo around the N4 area. And if you look at the exchange with K5 and H5, it's really a lot better for black because black created a nice moyo where he wanted to make one. And white just like captured the stone right here and secured his group, but he didn't gain very much points at all. So, um, in this case, uh, this is why when there's a stone at Q3, as white, you want to have a stone at L3. So, this is the game. Uh, okay. Then this is uh, very normal also. What this move uh, is aiming at, which probably most of you know. Uh, so let's say uh, white wants to make the move at c14 because he wants to start creating a moyo on the top side. So an important thing to remember uh, is if your opponent wants to play somewhere, it's a lot of times a good idea for yourself to play there. That's not always the case. Let's say, I mean, if you want to play Sansan, uh, your opponent might not want to play Sansan also either. You know, so, um, but in a lot of cases with the opening moves in Joseki, uh, where your opponent wants to play, uh, that's also where you want to play. So, similar to the Q3 and R5 uh, variation, uh, Black wants to make a move at K3 with that shape because he wants to start to create a moyo, like I showed you before. And that's pretty much the same thing with my stones at D16. Uh, I want to have the D14 moves so I can create a moyo over here. So black makes a move to try to stop that. And then this is the move I made, and I don't agree with this move uh, Now when I looked at it later, because um, this was actually something covered by uh, Colossius. If you guys know who that is, that's another person who does uh, go to game reviews. And um, this move is usually played when you have a nice moyo on the top side, uh, or support, which I did have support on the top side, but I didn't really have, it, it, it was all flat. There's a stone on the fourth line, there's a stone on the third line. Uh, if, let's say, let's say it just went normally, like the normal Joski, so like this. Uh, now as white, I can make another move to uh, try to create a moyo in here, but it's in Gote. I just gave it my Sente to have to make this move. Uh, and yes, it's a big move, but uh, in this case, uh, I don't. I gave black a lot locally with the uh, around c14, and uh, I still have a weakness at f16. So black can try invading later, and uh, so I personally just don't like this as white. So in the game, he played right here, which is uh, I think the first time I've actually seen this move. Uh, I've I faced it a while a lot of times after this, but um, it. I think it was kind of a test in a way. This is a Josie game. Uh, in this case, black, there's there's a couple different variations. This is one variation uh, where you go like this, and then black connects. 
and it goes like this. And then in this case, uh, if black has the ladder, it's too good for black because then uh, white would have to play one more move and then he loses Sente and he gets a big corner but black is, is has a very strong shape and he has Sente now. So in, in this case this isn't very good for uh, white. Also he was also the point of this move was to try to create a Moyo on the top side and with this it's all flat, it's all third line and fourth line. So it goes against what the move original purpose was. Uh, so this move you only want to make when uh, you have the ladder. Let's say you, I had a, a white had a, a stone around Q4. Then if black 